Oh boy, another Riley J. Dennis video. I'm so glad I'm gonna talk about you again, Riley. I know there are people who don't think being transgender is a thing, and this video is not for them. This video is for the people who say, yes, trans women are women, but they are still biologically male. Because while their intentions might be good, the impact that these words have is actually very harmful. Yeah, well, the truth hurts, doesn't it? What, you're saying we should just lie and say they're not because their feelings might get hurt? Well, if they're fully transitioned and look, act, and sound like a woman, then personally, I would agree. However, biologically speaking, they're not. That's not a bad thing in and of itself, but that's just the reality of the situation. How we act and treat other people is what needs adjusting, not rewriting science because some people are sad. Also bears pointing out, if they are not biologically male and they are biologically female, then why do they need to transition in the first place? What, why, what, why do they need to? See, th that question alone pretty much destroys your argument on this, but let's see what else Riley has to say. Trans women are not male, and saying that they are allows some people to justify the mistreatment of trans people. So I'm going to assume that you already really believe that trans women are women. If you don't believe that, this video isn't meant to convince you. Maybe instead of leaving an angry comment, you could go do some research into what it means to be transgender. Or maybe you could actually go do some research of your own and stop just inserting your own rhetoric into things that are already established. Saying trans women are not biologically male is a flat out lie, and we shouldn't be lying to people about shit like that. If you're not lying, then you're terribly misinformed, but well, this is Riley I am responding to, so... Also, people can leave whatever comment they want in your video. If they're leaving you hate comments, there's probably a reason for that, Riley. I will leave some links in the description to some very good resources to get you started. Alright, so let's say that you're trying to be a good ally to trans people, and you heard that sex and gender are two different things. Sex is biological, and gender is a social construct. That's not entirely true. Sex and gender are two different things, but they're both partly social constructs, just in different ways. For a long time, gender has been assigned to people based on their perceived sex. A doctor looks at a baby's genitals and determines what gender it will be raised as. And yeah, because it's a baby. What, what, you think a baby? A, a newborn infant has the idea of anything when it's born, let alone the concept of gender? We assign it that gender because, well, if it has a dick, then it's a boy. If it has a vagina, then it is a girl. It's an easy way to tell babies apart. What about that is wrong and hard to understand with you? What, do you think the baby has a clue about being trans or being non-binary? Of course not, it's a fucking baby! In our culture, this used to be unquestionable fact. You were raised as the gender you were assigned at birth, and being transgender was not an option. Babies cannot be transgender, you dumb fuck. This doesn't mean that trans people didn't exist, we've existed as long as humans have existed, but being transgender was not a mainstream topic of discussion. Today, many of us recognize that gender is far more complicated than a person's perceived sex, and we're able to acknowledge that people can be transgender. Yeah, it's only more complicated because people like you made it that way based off feeling. Now there's a million genders for everyone. Now there's a million sexes for anyone. Here you go, you special little snowflakes. Gender was a social construct before, and still is now, but how we construct it has changed. Now we can say that your gender is based on how you identify because we realized that basing gender on perceived sex was oppressive. No it's not. It's not oppressive. It's a basic way to identify who is who and what is what. Saying we should abolish it completely is a ridiculous notion. Like look, later down in life if you want to change your sex or your identity, fine, please go for it. But don't tell us we should apply this shit to newborn infants that don't grasp the concept of shit, let alone these different identities and genders. Again, I'm not really talking about society at large because a lot of people still don't fully understand what it means to be transgender, but I mean within trans accepting communities. However, even within these communities, binary sex has, for some reason, stuck around as the same kind of unquestionable fact that we used to think gender was. I've made a video before about intersex conditions and how sex isn't a perfect binary, but for now let's just talk about what it means to be male or female. Because I would argue that sex needs to go through the same change that gender has already gone through. It's not a static fact, it's a social construct. Oh my god, it's a social construct because you made it that way now. I'm sure that some people are having this knee-jerk reaction that sex is based on biology and you can't change a person's biology, but that's exactly what we used to say about gender. Se yeah, and surprise surprise, you're wrong about that too, just like many, many, many other things. Stop pushing your ideas on others as if they could be cold hard facts when A, they've been proven false time and time again, and B, they come from feelings and not fact. Sex is a way of categorizing humans based on a combination of a few traits. Chromosomes, genitals, gonads, hormones, and secondary sex characteristics like facial hair or breast development. I mean, yeah. 
And, I mean, I'm not understanding the point here. Like, what are we just supposed to do? Not assume? So if I see a big bearded motherfucker walking in the street, I'm not supposed to assume that's a guy because, well, I don't know about them chromosomes he has, or I'm sorry, they have. Are you serious? Oh, wait, I forgot I'm supposed to use the term Z and Zer now. My bad, you oversensitive people that lives revolve around gender, sex, and pronouns. I forgot society and people have to bend over backwards to appease your stupid ideas. Most people never have their chromosomes tested. They're not tested at birth, and they're not tested at regular checkups. Unless your doctor suspects that something might be wrong with your chromosomes, you'll probably never have them tested in your life. And you certainly can't tell a person's chromosomes by looking at them. Hormones are also not visible without a test, and genitals and gonads are usually not visible most of the time. So the way that most people have of determining someone's sex is simply their secondary sex characteristics that developed in puberty. Before puberty, children with penises and children with vaginas are really not that different. It's the rush of hormones around puberty that begins to develop the secondary sex characteristics. People with penises tend to develop facial hair, gain muscle mass, and get a deeper voice. People with vaginas tend to develop breasts, get wider hips, and have more subcutaneous fat. But these are not perfect differentiators of sex. Some people with penises don't develop much, if any, facial hair, while some develop beards, and the amount of facial hair that they have doesn't make them more or less male. The same goes for people with vaginas. Some of them will develop large breasts, some of them will develop small breasts, but neither of those is more or less female. There's a lot of overlap between these characteristics. Some people with vaginas will have deeper voices than some people with penises, and some people with penises will be shorter than some people with vaginas. It's not like all people with penises fit into one box and all people with vaginas fit into another box. It's like they're all in the same box, but people with penises tend to hang out on one side and people with vaginas tend to hang out on the other. Get to the fucking point, Riley. You're about to say something incredibly stupid, and I'm gonna use this buzzer when it happens. Plus, all of these secondary sex characteristics can be changed, either through hormones or surgery. When people assigned female at birth take testosterone, they tend to get deeper voices and grow more facial hair, while people assigned male at birth can take estrogen and develop breasts and more subcutaneous fat. <laughs> Wrong. That doesn't make the gender you were born as disappear. Yeah, sure, you can take that shit when you're younger, but that doesn't change the fact that you were still born with these genitals and these chromosomes. It's like you just took a magic marker on science and crudely written in whatever bullshit you wanted to to try and justify this level of thinking and it's absurd. Like look, you want to be trans, you want to be non-binary, you want to be whatever, fine, fine. I personally don't care, a lot of people don't care. Many people do not care. I support trans people and non-binary people, but the line is drawn when you're telling us to just ditch what science has taught us and what is already established. And if puberty blockers are taken before hormones, a person assigned female at birth might never experience a female natal puberty, or vice versa for people assigned male at birth. So the sex you were assigned at birth doesn't necessarily tell you what secondary sex characteristics you'll have later in life. That means that telling someone you know their sex based on their secondary sex characteristics is just not true. Of course you know all about that though, right Riley? With your years of medical training and years of practicing with a medical license and years of studying human biology and years of studying scientific research. You know all about that biology there, huh? Let's not listen to the trained professional whose job it is to learn and understand this stuff, who's made a career out of doing it. Man, fuck that noise. But you still think you can tell someone's sex based on their genitals or gonads? Well, genitals can be changed with surgery. Some people assigned male at birth have vaginas, thanks to a surgery called vaginoplasty. Some people assigned female at birth have penises, thanks to a surgery called phalloplasty. Yeah, the problem is, Riley, let me... L l l let me tell you a little secret here. Um, they sort of still have those genitals before the surgery. They they were still there. Did did, did you know that? Did. Did you know that? So genitals aren't a great indicator, and gonads, so ovaries or testes, are often removed in the case of testicular or ovarian cancer. But if a woman has her ovaries removed due to cancer, is she no longer female? If a man has his testes removed due to cancer, is he no longer male? <sighs> I don't think so, and I don't think you can say that gonads define a person's sex without believing that. So out of the five ways we have of determining someone's sex, four of those five, hormones, secondary sex characteristics, genitals, and gonads, cannot be accurately used to determine someone's sex. For example, if someone was assigned male at birth but took puberty blockers and hormones and had a vaginoplasty, they would have female hormones, secondary sex characteristics, and genitals. So three of their five ways of determining sex would be female. They wouldn't have male or female gonads at that point, and let's assume their chromosome are XY. That means that three-fifths of the sex criteria point to female, and only one-fifth points to male. 
<laughs> so three out of five then uh that, that, that's good enough i guess you're female it's just kind of funny because riley doesn't take hormones has a penis and has a deep voice not to mention is kind of toned a bit and has no breasts so um as many other youtubers have stated i will state myself by your own definition and standard you do not fall into the criteria of being a woman riley by your own standard what the fuck? And if you believe that sex is an unchanging biological fact, that couldn't be possible, but it is. Here's where people say, well, you can't change your chromosomes, and yeah, that's correct. But if you want to argue that sex is entirely determined by chromosomes, then you're arguing against the definition of what we call biological sex. Because sex has never been only about chromosomes, it's been about all five of these traits. And tell me, what good does dividing people based on their chromosomes do? If chromosomes don't determine your hormones, secondary sex characteristics, genitals, or gonads, what purpose do they serve? in differentiating people. You act as if though us separating the genders and sexes is a bad thing, like, oh, it's oppressive. No, we do it so we, as humans, can easily identify other humans. I can't, I, I can't believe I have to sit here and say this. My mind, my brain hurts. The answer is, they serve no purpose. There's no reason to divide XX people and XY people. That is an arbitrary distinction that has no effect on how the person looks or behaves or navigates the world. You can't know someone's chromosomes by looking at them, and even if you could, it wouldn't give you any useful information about the person. That's the point I'm trying to make. Sex is not a biological fact because it is determined by things that are largely changeable, and the only part of it that is unchangeable doesn't have any real-world effect. So it is just as much a social construct as gender is. But I'm not saying that for a trans person to be trans, they have to have all the surgeries and take all the hormones. A trans person is trans if they claim that identity. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all the shit you've been harping on in this video doesn't matter, because so long as they claim it, then they just are if they want to be. Doesn't matter if they fall under your umbrella of bullshit. Like, what reality do you live in, Riley? What dimension are you from? You make no sense whatsoever, and yet we still need to treat you and your issues seriously? Really? Because a cis person doesn't become trans when they have their ovaries removed due to cancer. And a trans person isn't cis just because they can't afford hormones. Having a vagina doesn't make you a female, regardless of whether you were born with it or got it through surgery. Gender is about your identity, and therefore, so is sex. The fact that sex is so fluid means that thinking of sex as a binary, unmoving fact of life is just wrong. So if you're a trans woman, you're female. If you're a trans man, you're male. And if you're neither a man nor a woman, then you're neither male nor female. Biological sex has to undergo the same paradigm shift that gender did. We need to start thinking about it as a social construct rather than an inarguable fact. 5 times 5 equals 25. Oh, but let's not teach that to people and claim that to be the right answer because we might upset the minority of people who want to think 5 times 5 equals 10. In which case, they are right because they feel like it's 10. And now we have to completely revise how math works now. You see, you see what I'm saying here? Because when people say that a trans woman is biologically male, they use that as a way to attack trans people. They use it as an excuse to exclude us from bathrooms, locker rooms, and other women's spaces. It's just a more subtle and more socially acceptable way of discriminating against trans people. You might mean well by saying that sex and gender are two different things, but I think it's important to emphasize that both are social constructs based on your identity. Yeah, yeah, you might mean well, but Riley disagrees with you there, so you're wrong. You don't know what you're saying. You're ignorant. You're arrogant. You just don't know what you're talking about. You're wrong. Another genius video by Riley J. Dennis. Give it up for Riley, everybody. Yeah, woo. Woohoo, why aren't you clapping? Why? Oh, what? You didn't like that? Big fucking shocker. I don't know how to close out videos. Yeah. <laughs>